Hey guys, good to see you. Thanks for joining us on what is a little bit earlier upload than normal for Tech Tuesday. I still got a little bit of this morning crud, but we're going to cover a lot today. We're going to show your beautiful rides, and then I'm going to show off some of the rides that I have for sale, and we're still going to get in a couple of questions for Tech Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. Let's go down and see Chuck. This car, in fact, is going to be on Sunday's Coffee with Conti. That's a recent trade-in, and I teased a picture on Instagram and Facebook. I said, do you believe in destiny? I do, and it's a great story. Plus, we have a little story about Santa Claus and Corvettes for the Sunday's Coffee with Conti. I hope you can join us, and I want to thank Kiwan in Texas, Troy and Jamie in Wisconsin, Rob in Michigan. Congratulations, your car just got here, and we do have a couple cars right here that are for sale. More on that in just a bit, including one more that's down in the shop that's available for sale. And it's one that every time I talk about it on the channel that we have one for sale, the phones just blow up. And that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, it's right there. Uh, weather for this weekend is going to be kind of eh, but we've got a great show. The Chosen Few Corvette Club brought to you by Coughlin Chevrolet. Yeah, that's Ricky's car. And it's still, let me just show you real quick. Got probably 1,500 miles. Those wheels still look pretty good. I got to love those 1521 Street Carbotech brake pads. Oh my gosh, that I got from Paragon Perf. And you can get a 5% discount and use Conti Brake at checkout. Yeah, uh, more on those in just a bit. But that Chosen View show is going to be great at the Quaker Steak in Polaris here in Columbus. We should have, oh gosh, three 350 Corvettes. I'm going to try to break away and capture a little bit of that for you guys and share just a little bit of that on Sunday show if I can, in addition to two amazing stories, fun stories that seem to be, well, you always seem to have those cool stories when it comes to this cool car. And it wouldn't be a Tech Tuesday if we don't talk about the C8 DCT transmission, but dude, we have to. There's a lot going on with this car. I certainly want to involve Chuck. I said he's busy, and every time I come back here impromptu, he's on a cigarette break. But he, he is really busy. And I think that between Nate and Chuck, we've kind of spearheaded what's going <laughs> Don't hide. Spearheaded what's going on with my car, something to do with the air conditioning. Hang on a second, let me get a mic'd up here. Yes, we have figured out what's wrong with your car. It's the loose nut behind the Setting night fever, could you please just button up your shirt? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, dude. When it's 90 degrees out with 100% I know. humidity, you're lucky I wear it. But every week he's got to button up his shirt, you know. I just, <laughs> he even got the gold chain, too. Yeah. I got it. Right. Hey, anyways, good to see you on an earlier Tech Tuesday than normal. I got a couple of questions for you while you're doing a service on another car, so I just want to say hi. Nate, thanks for uh, looking at my car. Uh, you turned off the air conditioner on my car. Loosen up behind the wheel. That is... Uh, <laughs> I should have gave him a microphone <laughs> and found out that it, it is something to do with the air conditioner. We don't know what part. And now we got to go through the painstaking stuff that we actually have to request to GM. Even though you know what you want to change, you can't change it, won't be covered. You got to let them say, well, yeah, go ahead and change that. Then you can order the part. So we, it's a freaking process to, yeah, to do. Give the okay. Yeah, they got to give the okay. So we'll figure it out. It always is a process. Well, because I told you, I need you to get the. Uh, brake fluid in my car. I want to do the brake pads on there. We're going to do the track alignment. There's something very important in regards to my track alignment and a new piece I've put on my car that's going to change the way I'm actually going to align or not align the car. Uh, and I've got a track event that I want to do at pit race. And you know I'm going to be a freaking big baby if I can't go to pit race in June. Okay. I didn't get a chance Did to do that last gonna year. going to be? Whatever, man. <laughs> I love that track, and I really want to get out there. I'm determined to do that more this year. Is drive that car and really yeah. enjoy it. But I don't want to. I don't want to break it. When I go to the track, here's the thing: I want to be able to drive it home. Okay, so that's why I need Run you guys out there. Yeah, no. <laughs> what do you mean? It's Spring Mountain. We had to air on. It's 112 degrees. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I think it's important real quick, we're, and it seems, I know some people get frustrated, it's like, oh my gosh, all you guys do is talk about the C8 DCT transmission. Uh -huh. uh, you need to. Yeah. Uh, it requires more attention on this new car. Um, yeah. The thing we talked about, we just, we did mention it, didn't probably emphasize it enough, the new service interval that is specifically for 2024s. Correct. Even if your car was built with a new transmission, it's a 2024 model that actually has the three years 
or 7,500 miles. Correct. I think one of the questions I got today is in regards to that, but I wanted to mention that right away. Yep. I'm sure you're getting some questions as guys come in. Oh yeah. And then at the three year, and I think that's what you're doing right now with one of our clients' cars. Right. You're doing the fluid flush right. of the three transmission. You're getting a DTT oil change and the fluid flush. Okay. Or fluid replacement. We don't know really flush. And you talk to some of the customers when you get up mm -hmm. to the drive you know, when you drop the cars off and stuff like that. And I talk to some folks at the bash and I've talked to you folks offline and I'm seeing the same thing. I'm feeling the same thing. And you, and I tell you all the time, I mean, you don't think I'm nutty because I do hear and feel stuff that others well. don't in the car. <laughs> <clears throat> As I was saying, <clears throat> when you guys get your DCT transmission uh, canister filter changed, I had a guy, a couple of guys, in fact, asked me at the bash, they go, hey, does your car feel different after you have that done? I said, yeah. And they go, well, how did they're like quizzing me. Right. They go, well, how, do, how does it feel? And I said, well, it feels like the, the car's stronger, like it's, it's shifting smoother, it's breathing better. And that is how important that's why we talk about it a lot, that the DCT canister filter is on this car. Sure. And you said it best a couple of years ago. You can't over-service this car. Well, no. And I mean, once the fluid starts to catch the debris, yeah. it's going to degrade the, the function of the transmission. So, yeah, when you put a new filter in there, yeah, you got full flow on the filter once again. It's going to feel different. Speaking of the transmissions, we also talked in a couple of weeks ago, um, and we don't have any definitive VINs on this recall for right, transmissions. We think that is going to be probably the new transmission, we're assuming, because they said only some 23s and some 24s. Right. Um, keep in mind, if you have that transmission replaced, just as a reminder, you need to, as a customer, monitor that because you need to reset yourself as far as when you're servicing it, as far as like the 7,500 miles and that kind of stuff. Right. So it would be, again, uh, say, for instance, a guy has 3,500 miles on the car he gets the new transmission from Chevrolet. Right. You now have three years or up to 11,000 miles to get that first service done. And it's and I don't think GM's gonna give it to you. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay for it. Yeah, I would assume, I'm not sure. Yeah. We haven't heard anything whether they're gonna pay for it or not. There's so a great area know. there. Yeah, there's a big gray area. Yeah, so if a guy's got 3,500 miles, somebody hits the 7,500, which he's entitled to the first service and he hasn't claimed it yet. Right. Uh, it, yeah, I, we don't know, guys. Yeah, I don't know. We agree with you. We think that you're entitled to it, but how GM's going to see it, sometimes the computer only sees what it sees, and it doesn't acknowledge some of that alterations in a new transmission. Correct. And it's just, oh, well, you're 11,000 miles. You're past the 7,500. You're not going to get it. It's like, well, I've never used it, you know, and it becomes that conversation that right. will probably be had in two to three years from now. Oh, absolutely. Kind of hard, though. Sorry, guys. Hard to hold the camera and emails. Okay, it says, hey Rick and Chuck, keep up the great work, entertaining and informative videos. I always look forward to watching. One of your last videos uploads had to mention GM extended the service interval for the DCT filter on yet another year for the 2024 model due to the revised transmission design. Uh -huh. Now here's my question. I have a late built 2023 C8, built 915-23 with a new DCT revision. Would that same service interval cover my Stingray or do I still have to keep to my two-year 7,500 mile maintenance schedule. Appreciate the info. Looking forward to your next two next Tech Tuesday episode. That's no, uh, yeah. Twenty-three Paul. is not covered. Yeah, that's Paul in Bayside, Queens, yep. New York. Uh, no, it's twenty-three is not covered. Only. Now, if he has one of the new transmissions, he might be under the new transmission replacement. You'll be contacted from Chevrolet if right. your VIN's involved with that, but and the, then you need to monitor where you're at, what we were just talking about, right. as far as resetting it and, and being diligent as far as the miles to make sure you are servicing that transmission properly, and where GM's going to kick in and pay, we, we, we don't know. but Right, but no, the, the new three-year extension covers 24s only. Okay. Because, uh, like I said, when we've covered it, everybody remembers when 20s first come out, you had one year. That's right. I forgot about that. And then yep. what was it? 21s or 22s? They yeah, upped it to two years. Yeah, they kept changing it. Right. Yeah. Now 24s are upping it to three years. So it's Could not be, retroactive, just and they 24 keeps, and forward. But here's the problem. They keep saying that to accommodate the customers that aren't driving their car. Right. My question to you is, what are you doing? <laughs> Drive your car and enjoy. This wouldn't even be a conversation if you're driving your car and you're just doing regular maintenance. I th and I've had a lot of people on the show, uh, a couple of send-off pats we haven't shared yet, and those guys are saying the same thing. They're like, you know what? I love this new C8. I, I love this car. One of my biggest regrets is I never really drove my previous Corvettes like I should have. Sure. This car, I'm going to drive. That's a message to you guys. You know, stop worrying about all this and trying to protect the engine and the, and the, uh, the miles, rather, for the, for the next guy. Who cares? Right. Get your money's worth 
and drive the car. I share that with my car. I'm just over a year, 21,000 miles and still going. I'm worried that I'm gonna run out of extended warranty because my goal was, I didn't buy a 100,000 mile extended warranty on this one, I only did 75 because I wanna do, I told you guys I wanna get a Z06 or maybe the Grand Sport, you know, and at my pace right now, I'm gonna run out in three years and I don't know in three years if I'm ready for it the new car right. based on either availability and some other factors. So I may have to go four years. I may be out of warranty. So I have to I have to watch that. But it's not gonna it's not gonna curtail me from driving, enjoying the car and sharing experiences with you guys. One big thing we're gonna do in a future Tech Tuesday talking about track alignment, this new accessory piece that I think you guys need if you have an aftermarket front splitter. Chuck put it on my car before I went to, to Bowling Green, and I'm I don't want to get into it right now because I'm really elated by it, and I'm surprised, um, but I'm pleasantly surprised at the results of it. Immediately, I felt the difference in this part, and I think you guys are going to need this, but it's also causing a problem that you brought to my attention. Well, service in the car. Service in the car. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as he told me that, I'm like, man, I just, like, just can't get this right, but we're going to change up, and we're going to share that with you guys on the channel as well. Well, yeah, I mean, that bulletin that I received about extending the 2024s for another year. Oh, I'm sure you got a thousand in, questions. It, well, it read in that bulletin, it was for customer satisfaction for guys that aren't basically drive, driving their cars. Not driving their car. So right. that's the only reason they extended it yeah. one year. I mean, what's my little cliche tagline here on the channel? Stop yeah. dreaming, start driving. Exactly. Keep driving, get driving. I mean, so, I mean come yeah. on, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, let me see if I can just throw another one here at you real quick, if I may. Okay. This is truly an impromptu Tech Tuesday. And one of the cars that we have available when I show off my rides before your rides is that right there, a freaking Z06. The Chuck hasn't prepped yet, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll show it to you guys, and it's available for sale. All right. Uh, this is, comes from Andrew. He says he has a 23C8 service safety system restraint system. Okay, we've seen that before. I have a question regarding the pop-up warning stating service to safety system restraint system. The driver air the and the driver airbag dash light. There doesn't seem to be a definite solution to get rid of this message and the dash light recognizes both driver and passenger seat sensor, seat belt sensors, all the connectors under the seat are seated properly as well as the steering wheel airbag connectors but it appears every time the car is started. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Either could be a connection, it could be a low voltage sometimes, low voltage. Yeah, low voltage. It could be a, n a number of things. That, yeah, it could be a number of things. Uh, but until it sets a code, I mean, even if it's got a history code, it should be something you right. could. Right, with that light being on, there'll be a code in there. He needs to go to the dealership yeah. and get that pulled and then that can determine what's gotta be done. Right, but even if the code, by the time you get to the dealership, if the code's in history, there's really nothing the technician can do because I had that white C8 that kept coming in with the left front wheel speed sensor code. Oh. But every time it got here, the code was in history. So when I ran all the tests, everything was working. Oh, because the code wasn't currently active, then there yes. really wasn't much you could do. Yeah. But at least it was in history, you could see it because if a guy disconnects his battery, right. it wipes it out, then you can't see anything that was going on. Sure. Okay. So, but like I said, I knew what the code was, but I couldn't track it down. Finally, after the, I think it was the fourth visit, the car came in with a hard fail code and stayed failed. Okay. From that point, we figured it out. Unfortunately, he had a rodent problem and uh, Mises mouse or something had chewed the left front wheel speed oh. sensor harness in half, so. They like those wires. But yeah, but if even if one wire was still making contact, which was probably what was happening, he was chewing it over a period of time. <laughs> so every time the car got here, the code's in history, can't figure it out. Wow. Fourth time, he finally chewed all the way through it. Then we was able to track it down. I appreciate his email, but he's got to get to a dealership and have yes. that plugged in, checked out. All Absolutely. Kind of stuff. All right, one more for you guys. I'm going to show you some inventory, and then we're going to show off your good-looking cars. More awesome cars this week, and I've got a lot of work to do to get the final count, to get the new Thanks Taj hat order in, and then we'll announce the winners from the channel from Sunday's show, and then the people that I saw in Bowling Green will get those out to you guys as well. This one comes from David Varney. He says, hey guys, Rick and Chuck, I got a 22 C8, and I had my headlights replaced last August due to a streaking in the headlight lens. It's on the inside of the lens. I noticed in March that they're doing the same thing again. The dealer's going to replace them again, but I'm concerned that my warranty runs out next March. If I have the same issue again, is it going to be covered? Have you guys seen this? Yes, that's a anti-fog spray that they put in there 
In fact, I talked to Scott a little bit, and I might need to just give you a little follow-up uh, in a second here to this question. I don't know if you know off the top of your head. I know that when the you know he's close to the warranty running out, so the, when the warranty runs out, the warranty's out. Yeah. Even though we had a, I, I thought the part would reset. That part itself would be under a three-year no. warranty. No, so <laughs> it's that's why you're under warranty. It's done. So when you're out, you're out. So you know, Scott put up. A, I was talking to him, our service advisor. He said if you have one week to go on that part and you replace it, is your warranty out in a week? And I want to confirm with my parts manager, Steve, here in just a second, if that part may still carry like a year warranty. There's got to be some kind of guarantee with it. So let me just finish that up real quick unless you know off the top of your head. I think every part we put in comes with at least a 12-month warranty. Okay. So. All right. That's 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 what I thought. Even so, if the guy in the scenario we just painted, right. your car warranty runs out in right. a year, but you had a part replaced a week before the warranty ran out, that particular part should have covered. another 12 should have another 12 month okay. warranty. We'll get that answer for you here in just a second. All right, just left our you can see just left our parts department. So I did confer with Steve and it is correct. If you're just about to run out of warranty on your car, but you have an item replaced under warranty, at least that particular item is going to be guaranteed for a year from its replacement date, okay? Thanks again, guys. All right, once again, um, doesn't matter how it came available. The thing is, it, it's available. A freaking Z06. New 2024 Coupe. This is a 2LZ, the standard wheels with the red calipers. It's a good looking spec here, guys. And what's not on the car yet, well, of course, the cover's on, you can't really see it. What's not on the car yet is going to be the Jake Hood Stinger, and it's also going to have the Jake Porter decals. Now, if you're a person that buys that car before it's prepped, if you don't want to put on, we'll just send those to you in the box. Let us know, but let me know if you're interested in this car. Contact me directly at the information up on the screen. Two LZ, as I mentioned, with the GT2 seats and the two-tone. Besides being a beautiful spec, it's a beautiful sound. Oh, yeah, look at that, the red engine cover. Is that just dynamic or what? God, is that gorgeous. It really is. And here, sometime this month, I think I'm going back to the NCM to drive the E-Ray, and I want to give you guys just my personal assessment from a regular car guy, a Corvette guy, what do I like better in that capacity on the track, the E-Ray or the Z06? This car, a couple other things that's on here. Sticker is just under 130. If you want the actual sale pricing, again, contact me directly. We've got black exhaust tips on this car, and there's going to be red script here, and there will be red Z06 down over here. So just the little things really add up, and this is going to be a beautiful car for somebody. It is the only Z06 that I have available, so contact me and let me know if uh, you're ready to stop dreaming and start driving. Because like I say, life is a dream. Drive it. I found a little spot to squeeze through here. And I'm sorry, guys, I, uh, I'm trying so hard to talk to you guys. It's hard to talk. And uh, I hope that it's coming through okay. But I do appreciate the opportunity. Uh, as far as doing business, let me just say this real quick, if I may, without, you know, how do, how do you say this? Let's just be, for, I've always been very real with you guys. So let me, just, let me just say this. I do these videos out of enjoyment and passion and appreciation for so many people that I have the opportunity to work with. And I don't mind helping a lot of people that we don't work with directly. That is the Corvette community. And I've always tried to represent myself as more than just a, a car salesman to you guys. But when it comes to doing business and you're watching this channel and you contact our store, if it's on the website, you're going to go to a call center. If you watch this, if you're contacting our store because of my marketing efforts, please let them know. Please get to me directly. Please don't come in here and say, hey, Rick, we... Really enjoy watching the channel, your Coffee with Conti, Tech Tuesdays with Chuck, and you're here buying a car from somebody else. I'm not a director, I don't have a team, it's just me for you guys, and I need your help. I don't put commercials in the middle of the video for that reason, so when it comes to doing business, I have that opportunity, so I appreciate your understanding of that. I think you know, I'm not on a salary, guys, so uh, my focus is selling cars for Coughlin uh, and doing all the other things that we do here on the channel. But when it comes to doing business, it's, it's, in, it's just been happening too much lately. And I don't know, maybe it's my own fault. I don't know, it's the way that we're, we're marketing stuff, but I need people to realize that, you know, this is the realization of, of what we do, that Ricky still has a job and I'm trying to do it for you guys. And it's just, it's just an insult, you know, like all the things, Taj hats, I'm not gonna go into the, 
the dollars and cents, but that's all on me. That's all out of my pocket, and it's a lot more than I anticipated to spend, but I did that as my commitment to you guys and just everything that we do here on the channel because it's not fluff. So I had no problem spending that money, but when it comes to doing business, I, I need those opportunities too. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really know how, I, I think you guys get where I'm coming from with that, so I do appreciate it. It's just, it, it just hurts. Um, I need you guys to, you know, if you're contacting the store, and if you work with somebody here already at the store, then that's fine, you watch the channel, great, thank you. Welcome to Coughlin, and I hope they take good care of you. I hope one day to be like I kind of was at other stores in that director position, but I love this one-on-one -on -one contact. I love the, the dog and pony show and, and going through the orders with you guys and going through the car. That part I really enjoy. I walked off the sales desk at another store. I thought, if I'm gonna do everything, I'm gonna do everything for myself. I love working with you guys. So that part of retail, it's hard for me to disconnect because I really do enjoy it. And I really do see a need for right information. So I didn't mean to, to get up all on that, but I just, I needed to, I needed to address that, so thank you for allowing me to do that. And if I can't be real and candid with you guys, then again, there is no point of the YouTube channel. If I can't get those opportunities, you come in here and you're buying from other guys and you have no tie to them, but you're watching my channel and that's what brought you here, then there's no reason for me to do the channel. Okay, all right, thanks. I do love you guys. All right, we've got some sun coming out. Let me show you a couple of these other cars that are available. And I've got, well, I've got my list in my back pocket. I'll tell you about some other cars I got coming in. So it's been really hard for me. I'm gonna do another whole vlog talking about what I choose and why when I'm ordering cars. Uh, this car here is a nice Z51 Coupe. Here's that old spoiler that's gonna be really popular. I don't know. I gotta get a chance to read the comments on Sunday's video. Do you guys like the new Z51 spoiler for 2025? Let me know. Here's what's really cool on this car. Again, we were just talking about little things. So it's a white car with a two-tone sky cool gray and a silver engine cover. Little tie-ins to the whole theme of the car. Front lift car, two-tone seats, stealth interior package. Oh man, that's a good looking car, guys. 20 spoke machine faced wheels. Really like those too. This one's for sale. Here's the silver convertible we featured at one point on the channel. It's got those new, uh, these wheels were reduced recently from Chevrolet, kind of a uh, satin black, new for Stingray. Convertible, also a 2LT with the upgraded GT2 seats, front lift car, stealth interior package. And I love this, the painted roof and the cells, gives it a little definition, goes with the whole theme, same with the spoiler and the mirrors do the service mode for you guys so you can see the silver engine cover that's part of the new engine appearance package on your hardtop convertible now this is an accessory so if you didn't get it on your hardtop and you've got a 2020 or 2022 23 you can buy this from chevrolet you can get the engine cover remember to get the right engine cover for a convertible because the coupe one won't work and the convertible sales still seem to dominate what people are buying from us here at our dealership again another 20 spoke Machine-faced, forged wheel, red calipers. <laughs> Grab the wrong keys, hang on a second. <laughs> now I know this car does not have the engine appearance package, but again, as we were just talking about on the silver car, we can add that if you wanted to. This is a beautiful Z51 with magnetic ride control. It's a 3LT. Looks a little different than your normal 3LT with two-tone red interior. Now it's still a red interior with the two-tone seats, but it's also a custom upgraded interior, only available with 3LT. So we eliminate some of the red on the dash and the door panels, uh, but you still get the red stitching everywhere else, okay? Stealth interior, magnetic ride control, black exhaust tips available for sale let me know if you're interested in that baby yeah thank you so much and just real quick i've got some other cars that are coming in that i wanted to let you guys know about uh, that will feature on future uploads i got a truckload of stuff coming i got a couple of base coupes coming for you guys i have a red coupe and a white coupe base coupe red calipers and that's it, a nice affordable way to get into C8, experience what we're talking about, what we've been sharing, and see that this is really a great value. And then maybe the next one you step up to a, a 2LT or a 3LT or you go to a convertible. In fact, speaking of convertibles, I even have a base convertible order that's on the way. I got a couple of Seawolf gray cars that are on the way, including a red mist coupe. So uh, those are definitely on the way. I wanna show you this used one because again, I'm gonna feature this car 
and really more so the customer this Sunday on Coffee with Conti talking about uh, how things are destined to happen. And this car uh, was just an integral part of their lives and it was wonderful to finally meet them. They took a museum delivery when everything came out. It was so hard to get these cars in 2020, 2021. Um, yeah, I got the keys, okay. Mike and Heather, yes, we still, yeah, the club still exists. Uh, Mike and Heather came down from Wisconsin with their kids. Uh, what a wonderful time. Again, that vlog is going to be this Sunday on the show. And look at this. When you want to just step up the exotic look of your car, do yellow with red interior and do the yellow seatbelt. Dude, this is hot. I don't care what anybody says. This is really, really hot. This is nice. Z51 car, front lift car. Oh, yeah, man. Black wheels, nice striping. Oh yeah, if you're interested in that car, let me know. I'd be happy to help you guys out. So just like we said at the beginning of today's show, we covered a little bit of everything. Some inventory, some personal stuff, and why I do this channel, and how I'm trying to reach you guys. Some Tech Tuesday stuff. And now before we go, let's show off your cars. These are your beautiful rides. Thanks for watching. Continue to support the channel if you would, please. Subscribe, hit the bell notification, thumbs up the video, and continue to make those comments down below because I love hearing from you guys and so do the other viewers.